up listen if you guys haven't heard aoki lee is um has left her i don't even want to say it's a sugar daddy but it opened up a larger conversation with people accusing aoki lee of actually being in that yachting lifestyle and instead of those pictures just showing a wayward 21 year old um into necrophilia i'm just joking <laughs> Necro, necromongery, right? Arise, arise. No, instead of a 21 year old just showing a 65 year old love, which I guess is some 65 year old's dream that a 21 year old full of youth and vitality and fertility would, for whatever reason, want you for more than stability and money. It really shined a light on the ugly world of yachting. And a lot of people didn't understand how she could be yachting the paparazzi pics and all this other stuff. Now, I do want to say it is alleged that Aoki is a yacht girl. But what actually is a yacht girl? A yacht girl is someone who, whenever off the coast of St. Tropez, St. Bart's, wherever yachts dock, wealthy men, right, invite beautiful young things to holiday with them. When they come, they buy them gifts, they buy them clothes. They're often there with a bounty of women. The thing is, a lot of these women and men and men or whatever they prefer are up and coming starlets. Some of them are established starlets. Some of them are up and coming models. Some of them are established models. Some of them are beautiful, captivating unknowns. They are all bought, they are all bought on the same Thing. Yachting also doesn't need to have boats because if you follow the Formula One races, they go to like this place, that place all over the world. F1, these girls and boys, these people follow the wealthy elite to their playgrounds, to their holiday spots and hopes that they will be hired for a night, hired for a week hired for the entire festivity. And what's more, you want to become somebody's favorite so you can be bought back. So while you add in does imply you're on a yacht because they look at them as uh, trophies. Look, I have this starlet on my boat. Well, I have this model. The rich and famous use them as trophies. It is an actual lifestyle. To me, it is nothing more than um, a high-end escorts, right? Why is it high end? Because most people will never be on those yachts. They'll never be these exclusive parties. So it's a rarefied group. And while that 1% might know that you are a hired escort or a, a glorified uh, high end escort, the average person walking down the street won't. So it has more credibility and respectability with, than only fans per se, but only because people don't really, don't really know how to recognize. Now, why is this important? Because if you, it has been rumored that in order to be a yacht girl and to get high in clientele, people have to request you. What does that have to do with Yoki? Well, it has to do a few things. It ties into what maybe could have been happening with that page six photo shoot. Just hear me out. It has long been rumored that the Playboy Bunny, when Playboy was in Playboy uh, magazine, uh, the Ferrelli calendar, um, the Sports Illustrated swimsuit models, uh, Sports Illustrated, it has long been alleged that they are nothing but high-end catalogs for people to sort through and be like, no, I want them on my yacht. I want them on my yacht. I want them on my yacht. Additionally, a lot of people that are into the yachting lifestyle, the people that are paying, they might have money, but they want to be known. So it can up your price if you can show the person that's hiring you that you can also bring them a little bit of fame, a little bit of notoriety. Like, well, if you date me, I can get you into page six and you can be on the beach looking so cool and you can get the fame and the eyeballs that your money can't buy you. Okay. Now I know what you're saying. Obviously in Aoki's case, didn't it just blow up in her face? Cause they look disgusting. Yes. It was very clumsy and sloppily done, but that's what's happening. But we also had to look at, have you ever seen these posts, um, on Hollywood unlock on TMZ in the daily mail in page six and tablets, right? Or even people.com. Cause it goes as deep as that. A lot of people have alleged that when you see those nonsensical articles, when you're like, when they're like, 
Kim Kardashian shows her taut tummy and firm thighs on the beach. And then you see them like, as a matter of fact, you see them like posing and like oddly seductive angles and they're trying to act like they don't know no one's there. And you read that article and you're like, and it's not just Kim Kardashian them. It's just like people's names. You may know, you may not. You're like, why is this coming up? Why did you, out of all the things going on in the world, is it really newsworthy that Kim and Chloe are frogging on the beach? Even if you go to Kim's Instagram right now, she's like in this odd pose where she, I guess she's trying to show how, you know, uh, thick the booty is. It's just oddly done. But, and they're like, oh my God, why does that happen? Now, I'm not implying any of these people are living that yeah, lifestyle. Kim has in the past most notably been J Lo, J Lo the not J Lo the artist, but J Lo he was a huge, huge, huge um, Southeast Asian businessman. Um, she has been paid one hundred and fifty thousand cash in a suitcase to come and just sit by him in Vegas, right? So you know, and she's seen or two hundred fifty thousand, and she's been there plenty of times. So, but I'm not implying anybody is a high end escort or yachting. The thing is. You, when you see those nonsensical, they are advertising. Because if you guys don't know, the yachting season is just about to kick off. And the more advertisements you get, the more you can be selected to be on these wealthy people's yacht. Princes, Saudi princes, royalty, billionaires, millionaires. There's a lot of money in this world. And one week of yachting can catch, can literally easily make you 300, 400, 500,000. If you are a celebrity or Victoria's Secret model, a million, two million, these people pay. Let's also not forget, just to put you, just to put it in uh, perspective about how much money is uh, out there. When you look at St. Bart's, right? Um, hold on. When you look at uh, St. Bart's, when you look at how much, just to let you know this guy, this isn't St. Bart's high season. The high season has already passed. He's actually on off season. This is where like the rich people think the riffraff is there. So she hasn't graduated into high end um, yacht girling, right? But let's just say this, right? Every aspiration destination like St. Bart's, the Hamptons, et cetera, has a peak season that everyone with real money wants to be there and be seen. So St. Bart's peak season and real money season is festive, which is the week of Christmas until New Year's. All villas, hotels, rental car places have a 10 to 14 day minimum with villas starting at 25,000 a night and some hotel rooms averaging the same or at the very least no less than 8K to 10K a night. That's when the people with money want to be seen in St. Bart's. Most of the villas are 100K per night with minimum 10 day stays. That's not even counting the partying, the this, the that. It is super big, elite, huge money. Now, obviously, Aoki, if she was doing this, is clumsy. She hasn't gotten into it. So she hasn't been invited to festival. But if she was into that, most of these models, Instagram girls, and guys, please don't act like guys don't yacht too, and I'm not saying Instagram people do that, but you get what I'm saying, right? Um, they are, they want to make it to the big leagues. Festival is in St. Bart's. But if she advertised and she shows what she's willing to do, what she can do, put herself out there, that increases her chance of the yachting season that's starting up, not in St. Bart's, but off of um, somewhere in the south of France, St. Tropez or whatever. And as the Formula One races start up, she will be invited. And it also raises her price. That is why a lot of people in the industry was so disturbed by seeing Aoki and those pictures. Because we know what it looks like. We know what it might be. And that's why everybody really was so horrified. It wasn't just the fact that she was sitting there with a 65-year-old. It was the optics of what actually was happening and what actually could be happening. Okay. If you guys don't believe me, there was this article that was writ written about yachting. And this was written three years ago by Amy Beacom Beckham. She said, yachting is more, is about more than being paid to party. 
It's Hollywood's murkiest open secret. She writes, it's been happening for decades, but ambitious young women continue to be endangered in the pursuit of fame. Again, this is why the people that know say that it was a gateway to Aoki getting into freak off situations. Maybe Russell didn't have a problem with it because that's the way he sees all women. Again, I'm not, I'm not trying to imply that Aoki's yachting. I'm not trying to imply that Kim and the Kardashians are available for a price. Uh, this we saw Kendall Jenner, Haley Bieber. I'm not implying. I am saying that again. This is one. Let, let me just read this article, right? And even outside this article, do your research. It's right there. You can find out everything you need to go do. And for those of y'all thinking about yachting, don't do it. And for those of y'all saying, oh my God, so what? Seems like she got a, a cute vacation. Baby, you can get a 25-year-old trust fund baby to take you to St. Bart's and have fun with, uh, with, uh, with the water dripping off his body as opposed to what's going on. They said it's been happening for decades, but ambitious young women continue to be endangered in the pursuit of fame. Stylist investigates the practice of yachting, Hollywood's open, shady secret. This is on stylist.co.uk. Yachting is one of the entertainment industry's biggest open secrets, with A-list stars, including models, actors, and royalty, being rumored to have been involved in yachting during their careers. If you're unfamiliar with the term yachting, it's used to describe the practice of being paid to spend time and be pictured with wealthy clients, often aboard mega yachts. It's considered a popular formula for it girls and rising stars to raise their profile, but it has a murky underbelly of blankual exploitation, coercion, and trafficking. According to the podcast, I Know I Sound Crazy, hosted by Allison Galloway, aspiring actors and models, as well as those already in the industry who want to raise their profiles, often enter into yachting with the goal of making connections. While yachting, they gain access to exclusive surroundings and social notoriety through the wealthy and famous men they accompany. However, the practice is not as luxurious as it might sound. As Galloway explains, women are often recruited by their co-stars or other yacht girls. And take the work believing and and take the work believing it to be a modeling or acting job. But in reality, what appears to be getting paid to party, what appears to be getting paid to party and be pictured with wealthy businessmen actually blurs a line between perfectly legal and mutually beneficial relationships and speculated actual solicitation. The term yachting gained media traction in 2013 when the Hollywood Reporter published an investigation into the culture of the Cannes Film Festival, claiming models and even some Hollywood actors swarmed the yachts and yacht parties during the festival. Women installed on yachts and cons during the film festival are called yacht girls, and the line between professional prostitution and B and C list Hollywood actors and models who accept payment for blank with rich older men is sometimes very blurred. This is according to a veteran of the film industry, um, told journalist Dana Kennedy at the time. Quoting Ely Nas, who ran a Beirut-based modeling agency before being arrested on charges of running a prostitute ring in 2007, the article says, you definitely recognize more than a few names from Hollywood. These are actresses who made bad career choices and fell off the radar. They tell themselves that they're doing it, that what they're doing in cons is okay that they're just on uh, dates with rich men when in reality, uh, what they're doing is what prostitutes do, but they like the money. Nas was later convicted of supplying more than 50 women of various nationalities to rich Middle Eastern clients during the festival. While yachting may be considered an open secret by some within the entertainment industry, it's so hard to get people to talk about it. Well, it's been around, around for a long, long time, and it's a common factor in many different industries, but particularly in entertainment, a popular cultural expert who wished their name anonymous told Silas. They agree that yachting is often displayed most prominently at events like cons. You might see people in the red carpet and have no idea who they are, but there's a reason why they're being elevated. They're being seen, but so is the person uh, who invited them there. The expert claims that the strategic elevation of people, particularly women, is something they've seen firsthand in the industry. We often see someone with a million followers always traveling and being pictured on a private jet and think, well, how are they doing that? Where are they going and with who? The practice first broached 
was first broached by model Emily Imrata. You remember Pete's ex and Kim Kardashian's nemesis in her 2021 memoir, My Body, where she detailed being paid $25,000 at the start of her career to go to the Super Bowl with disgraced Malaysian financer J-Ho Lo. They call him J-Lo for short. Um, that's the same guy Kim got paid in cash, who just liked that famous men and women around. In an interview with the Sunday Times, she said, I was on the clock. I was unaware about what was expected of her during the date. She told the paper that she'd been unsure why she was there, how long she had to stay, and who her agent had to check uh, had to check with at the end of the night to find out whether she could leave. In her book, Imrata also describes how, from the age of 19, she'd be invited to restaurants by a club promoter whose job, it seems, was to bring attractive women together for high-profile events. She said, I'd only spent a handful of nights in clubs, but I knew I didn't particularly enjoy them. I didn't like the music they played or how drinks spilled on my bare legs or how someone always seemed to be groping me. In one instance, she recounts being taken on an all expense paid luxury trip to Coachella Festival alongside 14 other young models. Describing the conversation she had while there, she says, a tall model with thick black hair and a nasally voice came and sat next to me. She said, so you know the big who the big bald one is. Like, that's a prince, right? His mom is super famous, obviously. But yeah, I've heard him and his fiance like to have threesomes. So they're like always looking for girls. Wait, a tall, uh, the big bald one, he's a prince. Uh, I was about to say it was Prince William, but I don't think back then Kate was his fiance. Anyway, Imrata later describes watching the Victoria's Secret model drinking with Lowe. He was drunk. A tray of shots appeared in front of him. He grabbed two, handing one to the Victoria's Secret model. She had ignored me in the other grass. Her attention focused on J-Lo. Now she kept her eyes locked on him as he took a shot, throwing her head back dramatically as he did, only to quickly toss the liquor over her shoulder. When he faced her again, her eyes sparkled and the famous dimples appeared on her cheeks. Damn, I thought, what a maneuver. Addressing the morality of the practice, she said, I like to think that I was different from women like her. But over time, it became harder to hold on to the distinction or even believe in its virtue. I watched models and actresses guarantee themselves financial success and careers by dating or marrying rich and famous men. I couldn't help but wonder whether those women were actually the smart ones playing the game cor correctly. It was undeniable that there was no way to avoid the game completely. We all had to make money one way or the other. Highlighting the great territory and power and balances that come from yachting, the culture expert tells stylists it's all smoke and mirrors and that the practice will always be very mysterious and stay that way. However, greater awareness is being raised surrounding the dangers associated with yachting. Conversations are finally starting to be had about the fact that blanket abuse and exploitation is endemic in the society. And the information published around uh, blanket exploitation of young women and girls and little boy, uh, young men. Um, it's probably only the tip of the iceberg of what is taking place. Uh, this is what the Human Trafficking Foundation says. Misogyny, fear, grooming, and shame force many victims to remain silent, particularly when there is a power dynamic, as in these cases involving the very wealthy. Control isn't always visible and through, and, uh, through violence, but can be carried out, for example, by holding a person's passport, encouraging victims to take rugs and via threats such as revealing private pictures to their families. Women need to be more aware. Women and men need to be more aware of what's happening. So, uh, social media feeds this and people don't always realize the lifestyle they're promoting. Every story I've heard about yachting is negative. Every girl has some kind of trauma after. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of yachting and why everybody actually was concerned about Aoki. Because does anybody know what it really was? No. But the implications and the optics, if what it is, what it looks like, then she's in a lot of danger. And Russell ain't ish for not, for encouraging that. And Kamar ain't ish too, because why? Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.